hey y'all welcome back to another video so we did a poll and y'all chose the color gray so i try to come up with this gray set and incorporate some other things so let's get into the video So before we actually get into the actual video, you guys, I want to show y'all the bonnet, the shirt, the pants, and even down to the shoes are from Shein. Now I'm going to link pictures of all of this up here for y'all. And I will have the links below in the description box in case you want to purchase. But I just had to show y'all because I love all four of them. Get my footwork, get my footwork. You see my, you see my slides? You got them? They in, you got them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got the bonnet? Check my bonnet. Ooh. Okay, so hey you guys, jumping into the video. I just went ahead and I actually just used some um, full cover tips and I just plugged them into my hand because my hand is already raggedy, so. Y'all, it's just, oh, I need a new practice hand. Like for, I've had this practice hand since I started doing nails, which was almost a year ago. So it's definitely time for a new practice hand. I just have not decided where I'm gonna get it from. But I just showed you all what I am using. I'm using Young Nails Core Natural, which is pretty much like another clear. Um, and then I'm going ahead and I'm adding some a uh, gray gel polish from Madam Glam. It is called Reset, I believe. And, um, I am adding that to my monomer. Now, this did not work as well with the monomer as the other colors did in my last video. If you have not seen my last video, I will plug that in right here so you can go click on it and watch it once you're done with this video. But I um, I don't know what it was, like what made it not come out as gray as I needed it to be. But basically I had to end up like really building this up and really mixing the color up um in the monomer to even get any sort of gray um towards the end the the more i use the monomer uh towards the end like you'll see on the pinky the pinky was coming out more pigmented than the rest of the nails and that is because i was getting like to the end of the monomer so that's where all most of the gel polish fell um it just wasn't mixing as great as the other polishes that i use and i don't know if it's because madam glam is more thick a more thick polish so maybe the density has something to do with that i'm not sure you guys but it just wasn't working how the other polishes did for me in my last video but anyway it still worked out we still got the gray color that we wanted i wish it could have been a little darker but i was actually okay with the colors coming out how they did um once everything was done and once i added the other colors so right here i'm pretty much just showing you all the basic application and i am getting a little better on my application of course my application is better when i work with really good acrylic powders and young nails has does have a really good um formula for their acrylic powders i would say my top favorite right now i know i have so many videos on dynamic nail supply and i still like dynamic nail supply but i recommend dynamic nail supply more so for beginners if you are just starting out i would say um young nails and dynamic nail supply are the best acrylics to start out with because they give you enough time to work with them but dynamic nail supply is like top tier for beginner friendly um products for me in my opinion now if you are a more advanced nail tech and you do not need any slow setting anything um i honestly do not recommend dynamic nail supply just because they are on the slower side and their formula is a little different than um, Young Nails, Valentino, and some other brand names. So um, that is my tea on what I have reviewed so far on my channel. I will link a couple videos to Dynamic Nail Supply if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you have never tried out their brand. Um, I highly suggest them for beginners. But anyway, so yeah, um, that's what I want to say about that. I, I don't know why I just made that so long and drawn out. But yeah, you guys, this gray came out really really pretty i wish i had an acrylic in the color gray so now that i did this poll and i'm looking at all the colors that i don't have i really don't have a pretty yellow 
Um, well, no, I do. I have one from iGel Beauty, but the formula for iGel Beauty is not that great. So I need to start racking up again on acrylics, you guys. And I'm on the hunt. I'm on the search to start using different acrylic powders. So let me know down below what's your, I mean, what's your favorite, your top favorite of all time brand of acrylic is because even if it's something that isn't well known let me know down below because i'm going to start purchasing and reviewing a few more acrylic powder brands um just so i can try a few different ones out because lately i've just been using the same old stuff and i want to i want to try some different ones out you guys now lately i have been buying a lot of stuff from shein but i have not been keeping it to review it because i've literally been buying it to wear it like that week that i get it but if y'all would like to see another shein haul or just review on different things from shein mostly clothes um let me know down below the last one that i did if you have not seen that one even though it's not monetized i still want y'all to go watch it because it was super funny and super fun to do i did it with my wife and my son he is actually the one who recorded that little snippet that you saw in the beginning of this video um he was recording me outside it was like really spur of the moment and i just happened to have the bonnet on i happen to have all that stuff on today and i just wanted to go ahead and get that little snippet in because i had to tell y'all about those shoes those little flip-flop slide slipper type thingies were so they are so comfortable like when i say so comfortable like y'all have to get you a pair hopefully they're not sold out um if i didn't already link it in the front in the in the front in the beginning of this video i will link it right here to see if they're sold out or not or just just to give y'all the picture and price of everything but y'all i swear like that those slippers are so bomb i just wear them around the house um <laughs> i just got them because of the color but they're super super i did not expect them to be that comfortable like at all y'all my wife just got in the car and she was like <laughs> my wife i had the big bonnet on and she was like oh my god like Lisa did you get out of the car like that because she didn't want me to see she didn't want her co-workers to see me with that big bonnet on and I'm like you don't like it like it is it's really huge you guys like the bonnet is really huge so if you have a lot of hair then that bonnet is for you but it also is like very hot compared to my other bonnets like it just it was making my head sweat so that's the only thing that I will say about it it's just so insulated that like I feel like it would make your head sweat like in the um in the summer so i feel like that's more of a winter bonnet but anyway <clears throat> excuse me shout out to shein for that bonnet i have to get another one just for backup because my bonnets have been going down the drain they're all holy like they're they're a, a church mess okay but yeah you guys i um i really don't have too much to talk about today like i just want to show you all this application the application my application is getting better i'm super proud of it um oh right here is where you can see how the pigment was a little darker than any other nail and that's because i was getting to the very last little bit of the monomer that had the gel polish at the bottom of it so that's why it was a little more pigmented than the other nails but it wasn't super noticeable so i didn't really go back and um do too much with the other nails but uh i did really like this gray like i really need to find a gray you guys so after we do this i'm going to be taking my 501 bit this is my 501 bit from my uh online nail supply store if you are looking for a 501 bit these are 10.99 on my website the website is in the description box below if you are looking for it but this one is a medium grit and i always use this to clean up my cuticle areas and i use it to um debulk if i need to debulk but i did not need a lot of debulking on this nail be just because i did not build it up like super super um structure just because this was a practice hand um when i do my nails i usually build it up a little bit more because i use those as press-ons once i'm done and i want them to look really really good in case i go out and somebody sees me with them but i also have a dust cap on my e-file this is to keep the dust out of my e-file so that um the longevity of my e-file 
is maintained. I want it to last a long time, which it has. The only thing that's messed up on my e-file is the cord. And if y'all have seen my previous videos, y'all already know what's up with that. Like I do need a new e-file, but so far this one has been working with it taped at the tip at the top um, of it. So it's fine. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and I kept all this in just to show you all that little part. I usually don't keep the filing in. I kept a little bit of the actual hand filing in here as well. And I usually just file up and down, up and down. And um, I use an 8080 grit for that filing. So I also file underneath the nails and this is to get anything that any acrylic that is stuck under the nail right here is what I'm talking about. And it actually just also carves out the underside of the nail because you don't want it to be too bulky or like I said, have any acrylic left underneath. So I always do this step no matter what you guys. My shaping is getting a little better, but I still tend to curve the nail in a little bit at the tip. So I'm going to try to start remembering not to file the tip so much. And hopefully I see some improvement with that. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm eating chips in the back. I'm so hungry. Um, usually I try not to eat all my voiceovers, but I just had to have these chips. Do y'all ever go through these phases where you're just craving something all the time like sporadically like like say this month you just have this thing or this week or these past two weeks you just have this thing for like yogurt and granola like i always go through these phases where i just want something specific and i will eat it for days straight and then one day i'm just like ugh, i do not want it anymore and then like a month or two later i go back to that same exact um food or whatever it was i don't know if i'm making any sense y'all but i'm just i'm just greedy so maybe it's just a me thing like i eat whatever i am so greedy all the time like i love food but sometimes i just get cravings for certain things and i will binge on it like i will go in on it for like four days straight y'all and then i'll be sick of it and i won't even touch it for like a month or two <laughs> I want to apologize for skipping some of the nail artwork because I um, was recording my son. I was trying to help my, my son just made a YouTube, you guys. He just made a YouTube channel. What are you drawing? A house. Can I see your house? Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> So like I was saying, my son just started a YouTube channel and he had me helping him with um, setting up his YouTube channel. And he really wanted to record something for his channel today. And he decided to record him drawing a house while I was doing nails. He likes to be in the room with me while I'm doing nails because he says that I don't have a lot of time for him. So we always make this thing of like, if I have to do nails, then we'll watch a video or a movie. In the room while I do nails so it doesn't feel like I'm like separating myself <laughs> if that makes sense and taking up all my time off for nails versus with him um, because I only have him a few days out the week me and his dad split the week so when I do nails and he's off of school he just feels like I'm like neglecting him and he's very dramatic so um, I always try to let him sit in the room with me and we'll watch a movie or something while I do the nails. But today he decided to draw a picture and he wanted to record it, but I couldn't find my stand, but he was trying to record it for his new YouTube channel. I will link his YouTube channel um, up here if y'all want to go follow it. I, who knows what he's going to post up there, y'all. My son is very funny and very um, gifted and different, okay? <laughs> Now these little pink hearts are actually from Hobby Lobby. I made a whole little vlog of me shopping in Hobby Lobby for the very first time and I absolutely loved it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found so many different um, little rhinestones and stones. I actually got some, I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's called like Persosha or pre I don't know. I got those stones <laughs> and they are very, very sparkly and pretty. And then I got, I also got these pink ones that come in a little um, kit with other colors, like the, their neons and their neon blue, neon green, neon yellow, neon pink. 
and um yeah so that's where i got those from i will link that video above for you right here if you want to go back and watch it and yeah so this was pretty much the final design you guys i didn't think that i should add any more to it and i didn't want it to be too too much but y'all know i had to do bling i always do bling i can't stay away from bling i'm going ahead and i'm top coating everything with the ultimate finish uh gel polish by young nails like i always say this is one of my favorite top coats i only have two favorite and it's this one and the dynam dynamic nail supply tempered glass top coat that is also my favorite um but i always use those on people come to me to get nails done and i just love the shine and the shine actually lasts and it is a no wipe top coat so you do not have to wipe it um to get any tacky layer off and that's what i love about it as well but yeah i just went ahead and i top coated these nails and that was pretty much it i'm sorry i didn't get to show you all exactly how i placed the stones on but pretty simple i just put down some mccart rhinestone glue and i lined them up with um with the nail art lines and i just put them directly under it and yeah i also i all the stones that you see up here except for the circle pink ones i got from hobby lobby now the circle pink ones came in a kit from shein and they came with all different colors um but the heart ones came from hobby lobby so i just want to make that a little clear in case you were confused but if you have not seen my Shein videos, make sure you check those out too. I have so many of them, you guys, and I plan on doing a lot more because Shein is still in style and the girls are still copping from them. So I am too. I have to do a re-up and I have to do a really, really big haul from them. I think I'm going to do nails and clothes again. And I think that would be super fun. But yeah, you guys, this was pretty much it for the video and i hope you all enjoyed it i will see y'all in the next one i love y'all so much Mwah. bye